again Trying hard but you wanna be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go I'm just joking with y'all <laughs> I'm here, I'm just playing a joke Come on in, let's get started, come on I just had to do that. I just had, I just had to pretend. I wanted you to think, where is she? Where is she? <laughs> where is this lady? So shout out to everyone. Welcome to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. My job is to take the view table dynamics, the relational dynamics, and show all of us what we can glean from those interactions, positive and negative, that can help us in our own individual lives. And I try to do that in some small way on every podcast. Not always successful, but that is always my goal. So if you haven't seen the show this morning, spoiler alert, okay? Because once again, it literally just went off uh, here where I live. It comes on at 10. Uh, shout out to all of my East Coast people. I know you're 11. Shout out to all my West Coast folks. I know it comes on at 8 there. All of us are in different time zones, so it comes on. Same show, different times. So we got more bad news today. Sarah Haynes was absent today. And we learned it's because she allegedly found out yesterday that she had very close exposure to someone who was COVID-19 positive. So now I remember Sarah saying yesterday, guys, and those of you who saw the show yesterday, help me if I get this wrong. But didn't she tell us that she had tested negative four times? Didn't she say that yesterday, that when her husband, Max, contracted the virus, even though he's vaxxed and boosted, that because they live in a house now, you know, they're no longer in an apartment, you know, in New York, they, they've got a house, I believe, out in Jersey, because she talked to Derek Monroe about how they bought the house last year in 2020, or excuse me, right before the pandemic. So I think at the end of 2020, 2019, going into 2020, and I thought she said that their house was large enough that they could all, her and the kids, um kind of isolate from her husband and that all of them had tested pos negative four times. So I don't know who she, cause she said she hadn't been anywhere since she found out her husband was positive. Am I right? Y'all Did, didn't she say this yesterday? And so I'm like, okay, but you know, remember if you were with me yesterday, when I was recapping the first part of the show, I told you guys that it really bothered me how sad Sarah looked. And I said, specifically, she told us her husband is fine, but yet she looked so sad. And so, you know, we know in television that they don't tell us everything and they don't have to. They don't owe us that. You know, what goes on in their private lives, in their homes is really their business. They don't owe us any explanation. But I think where people mess up is when they just start talking about it, period. You know what I'm saying? Like we talked about something similar to this when we were talking about Whoopi and what happened with Barbara from Shark Tank. You know, when we open the door, you know, in this case, when we open the door to people's curiosity and then we kind of don't tell it all or we kind of, you know, tell them something other than the truth, the truth eventually comes out. And then it's like, OK, what are we going to say? So now that I'm thinking about the way she was looking yesterday versus now learning today, excuse me, and learning today that she was exposed, a close exposure, I tend to think Sarah probably was not feeling well yesterday. You know, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll find all about all about it. I mean, y'all know how it goes at the show. People are constantly leaking things, um, especially as they're trying to find the next Republican. So um, anyway, so, you know, I have a special treat for y'all. So many of you uh, have asked me to talk about other things, um, especially those of you who are with me on the secondary channel. And I didn't shut the channel down. I just told y'all over there, I'm going to take some time off. And so all the stories that I used to do are still over there, the MVMO channel on YouTube. Um, that's how you type it in if you want any of the commentary over there. <clears throat> and so y'all were say, okay, but then are you going to start talking about stuff over here? And I'm like, no, over here, I just talk about the view. But what I am going to start doing is like today on the show, <laughs> they had this whole conversation about Khloe Kardashian mm -hmm, and Tristan Thompson. So I can't say I'm going to do it every time they talk about something pop culture-ish that I'm interested in that I think you're interested in as well. Because in order for me to give you some valuable commentary, it has to be something that I personally am interested in. And honestly, you know, I don't care anything about the Kardashians, but 
I do like keeping up with what's going on with a fine man. Okay. And so Tristan, despite his dirty doggishness, he is still fine. Okay. And so I really enjoyed hearing their conversation this morning. So I will be talking with y'all about that later and telling you my thoughts on Chloe and Tristan. And you know who, who, who is the um, other persons rather, who's, who's really uh, the victim in all of these, this mess. It's not these women. It's showing the women and it ain't him. It's the kids. And I think, you know, with all the dick slinging and all the leg popping openness that's going on, I don't think anyone is thinking about these children. I think that these women are thinking about a check, uh, which if I understand right, this dude is broke. Uh, okay. So they're thinking about a check and Chloe just wants to be validated by somebody. She doesn't care who it is, in my opinion. So we'll talk more about that later. So anyway, so I just want to let you guys know that we probably won't be seeing Sarah for a few days either. I mean, this is really sad. A lot of people don't feel like Sarah is a big part of the show. I actually think she is in the sense that, as I said the other day, and as I've always said, as we've shared together, you and I, she truly is the balance. She is the level-headedness a lot of times at the table, not all the time, but a lot of times. And we, a conversation like this, a group of women like this, they need a woman like that. Um, Yvette Nicole Brown, one of our favorite fill-ins, she was there today. Uh, Yvette always does a great job, doesn't she, y'all? I mean, she is so real. And I think that's why she's one of the fan favorites to fill in, because we know that whatever Yvette shares is coming straight from the heart. She is not a fake or phony broad. You know, she's one of these real women um, and she has no problem. And she's well versed in politics and pop culture, which they really want someone like that who can fill in. So she's there today and she's also going to be there tomorrow. She may, if Sarah's out the rest of the week, she's probably going to be there the rest of the week, week too, right y'all? And of course we know Whoopi is still out and we know Anna's going to be with us every day this week. Um, and who knows, Anna may be with us into the next week. Let me just say this guys, before I let you go, as we're just chatting about the show, you know, I don't watch any other show that comes on before the view because literally my TV is turned on at, you know, close to 10. Um, especially if I'm going to be recording the show. And so I will tell you that, um, this morning though, I was flipping through the channels, you know, getting everything set up to record. And I didn't know that it seems like some of these other shows too are back at home. Did you guys notice that? Like I don't watch Ryan and Kelly or Kelly and Ryan or whatever it's called, but that comes on before the view where I live. And so I was getting it set up. And so I had it on that channel and I was like, Oh, they're at home too. So I don't know. Those of you who watch some of these other shows that have gone home, did they announce that they were going to do that prior to, the winter break or prior to the holiday season. Did they announce that? I'm just wondering. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, if they're all doing what they did before, which is follow what the view does. Okay. So anyway, guys, I got a lot to do, which is actually nothing because I'm off today. <laughs> so I'm going to, my lot to do, you know, my a lot to do. Uh, I've got a lot to do. I got to redo my nails. <laughs> I got to redo my toes. I'm doing my own hair now because got to live on a budget. Okay. I have a couple of trips planned for 2022. If all goes well, if God willing. Um, and so I'm on a budget, so I'm doing my own hair still. And so I got to do that, you know, and then I got to take a nap. So <laughs> that's what I mean by I have a lot to do. So love you guys so much. Enjoy you so much. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for listening to all my gaps. Listen, I enjoy you so much. Now check this out on your way out. Don't forget, if you enjoy the podcast, always give me a like and we're fair here. So if you didn't enjoy it, you know, you're welcome to give a thumbs down. We try to be fair with everything, not just others, but when it comes to this whole situation over here too. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple, don't forget to favorite, to like it, to follow me, all those wonderful things. So I will talk to you guys on the next podcast. Bye. If you don't-